normally when you go to a play you just see, oh that show is really good and you never really think about how much has to go on behind the scenes. Because when you just see a play that's on stage, you just see the final product, you don't see anything of the work that's gone into it, you don't see the long hours that people put in. So just seeing a little bit of the backstage really gives you um, an insight into what these performers have put into it and it's not just fabulous on stage. It was really interesting seeing everything like it was kind of like a backstage pass which I haven't really had before and it's really interesting seeing not just what's on the stage like we saw a tour of the theater before they played it and he was explaining everything about the theater and I'm like wow there's so much stuff that nobody even thinks about like before during or after the play. I really liked going up into the offices and seeing all the people who do all the, the work that we don't think about, especially as actors, you know, I don't think about who makes the signs and who does all the ticket sales and all that, but like we got to go meet those people and we, there was a face to that. So I liked that part because there, it became more real. The tour was really cool. I really enjoyed seeing the costume room. Uh, I think just the kind of odd me just how many costumes you had in there. I heard some of the girls chuckling at all how many shoes you guys had. And... The costume department was really cool and all of the, the things that went into actually making these costumes and what they bought and where they got it from. I loved the fact that we got to do the workshop beforehand and it was so engaging and active and the, the kids were participating right away. I love that it gave them a little look into what the show was about and maybe what some of the experiences the actors might have went through in creating some of the, the pieces on stage. When we got to sit there before the show and we got to sit like in the audience and in the chairs, we got to learn how the different stages can be put in and how floors can be removed and the ceiling and people can walk on the ceiling and that was that was really cool and I never thought that that could be a thing. It, it amazed me. I didn't know all those things and I, I was really excited to learn that and I kind of thought what, what would it be like to be able to work on that kind of stage. I think it gives them an appreciation for the arts and, and what it takes to put some of these productions together. Uh, they learned some history about theatre in Vancouver and the Arts Club in particular. It opens up their mind as to what's possible. We don't always need all the sets and the, the big costumes and the flash, you know, what you can do with your own body and your own voice and that little bit of creativity and imagination. You know, you can create magic on stage and, and that's what they saw and I think that's what we all felt leaving, that, uh, that we were inspired to kind of uh, take that and put it into our own productions. We saw a little bit of the actors getting ready for the show and that was just neat just seeing because as actors ourselves we, we know a little bit about it but then just seeing other people just gives us a new perspective on it and then being able to take a look at the amazing facility you guys have and being able to see how much effort you guys put into it. Well having a workshop before the play was very interesting. Uh, a lot of us didn't know what Peter and the Starcatcher was about going in so having that uh, backstage feel, talking with the director, um, kind of talking about the backstory and how the play came into fruition. This particular play was really uh, something different for them to be able to see. I think that was the biggest thing for me and for them to really realize what you can do on stage um, with just a little bit of imagination um, and creativity and commitment on the part of the actors, on the part of the crew, on the part of the director and the audience too. What it takes in, in just uh, using your imagination as an audience member. Gave me more confidence because we would do really silly things and it gave me more confidence to be like, oh okay, I tried this and like this is okay, I can get out of my comfort zone a little bit. To be put into the, especially the workshop, and we were put on the spot right away, that made me a, that, that showed me like I can do this, this is more confidence building especially for me because I'm, I'm still pretty shy about a lot of stuff. Especially at the end when our last workshop was like a singing workshop and I wasn't used to that, that kind of thing and it was, it was an eye opener for me because it was just, it was so easy to just fall into it and just do it. We took a group of actors and tech kids and orchestra members and it, it met sort of all of their different interests, it appealed to all of them and, uh, and it gave them an opportunity to work together as a team and, and then to sort of learn about what the other side does as well. So yeah, I would love to do it again.